Hey y'all, it's your girl, Lady Leisha. You already know what it is. The owner of Leisha Entertainment. Believe in yourself. It's a family affair. You already know what it is. Before I get into this topic, I pray and I first want to pray. And I pray and I hope that you guys are taking the proper precautions and taking this seriously. But most importantly, above all, not stressing, not worrying, about finances or anything else that you feel like you're thinking about or you're worrying about because at the end of the day god is in control and that is important so let's get right into it the topic for this today is awareness and having confidence in flesh in your flesh and so and how important it is you know the importance of knowing about having confidence in your flesh the good or you know the good or bad I, it came off as a bad thing to me but um anything that we do in operating in flesh is not a great thing um because when we operate in flesh it's based off of emotions so the text the three scriptures specifically one chapter in general i will be touching upon it is philippians 3 verse 8 through 10 it's the whole chapter but those are the key those are the key ones that i will be talking about specifically um as it as it comes into you know as it as we start talking about having confidence so in the bible especially in philippians 3 8 through 10 it talks about or just philippians 3 the chapter it pretty much goes into talking about how people how us as humans on earth us you know us as people how we always how we always reject certain things how we always reject certain things when it comes to learning and relearning you know what i'm saying i feel like i feel like we all are battling with our flesh because we're human but at the end of the day we have to always keep a conscious reminder and make a conscious effort to to relearn especially when it comes to building a relationship with god there's some stuff that america has told us that are lies that's why i don't believe everything that i hear on the radio or hear on the news but at the end of the day god is in control so don't fret just stay safe and take the proper precautions and pray <laughs> during this time of the coronavirus all right let's get it so why let's let's look at the why why should you have or why shouldn't you have confidence in your flesh i feel like you shouldn't have confidence in your flesh the the pros for having confidence in your flesh is that you for you you get people we get so big headed like we get so big headed sometimes in this thing called life where we forget about the creator we forget about what the word says in the holy bible about what's going to happen here on earth we just have to take the time to really assess it now that is a terrible thing because at, at the end of the day we shouldn't be thinking about nobody but God. And the goal here on earth is to get to heaven. So having confidence in your flesh isn't always a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Isn't always a good thing, especially when you don't include the creator. The good thing about having confidence in your flesh is that you can, you can, it, it gives you, it gives you a provision of seeing something from another angle so that you can work on it. Not so that you can fall into it and worship it or idolize it, your flesh. Because like I said, when we act upon in flesh, we're liable to do things are liable to go left. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it a hundred. You know, let's just keep it a hundred. We're, we're liable to go left because we're operating in our flesh and not from what the word is telling us to do. Are we perfect? No, but we're not supposed to be perfect. 
Like I said, it's not about perfection. It's about progression. But like I was saying, so those are some good things or bad things as to why, you know, good things as to why you should have your, you should have um confidence or the bad and the bad things of why it's not a good thing for you to, <laughs> for you to have um confidence in your flesh. You have to really think about it. What has been going on since we've been in our flesh? So we've been in our flesh. Everything becomes in a disarray. It's like everything becomes in a disarray. And it's, and it's really crazy because we, most of us, some of us, I'm not going to say most of us because it's a big world. But some of us actually know what's going on in this world and why all this craziness is going on. And um, why it seems like it's more evil spirits on this earth than it is nice people. Um, so that's why it's very important to educate yourself and just be aware. Just practice awareness. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is very much power. Nobody can tell you anything. A president, a government, whatever. Your sister, your brother, whatever. Nobody can't tell you what's right or what's wrong unless you did your proper research. So <laughs> that's another good thing or pro when it comes to having confidence in your flesh and just being aware um just pretty much being aware i feel like this is the time to do it now or never i feel like more than anything we need god we need god we need him and at this point we shouldn't even have to we need to just go to the book I keep I keep a holy Bible in my trunk. I keep my oil in my on my bathroom. I'm not playing no games. <laughs> I'm not playing no games. And I'm not saying that it's easy because again, we're human. But at the end of the day, start telling I mean, you know, start telling yourself it's easy versus telling yourself it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Because God got us. God got us. It don't matter what people and humans try to do on this earth to manipulate this world. God got his people. God got his followers. So for that, we know. We, we're, we're aware. And if you wasn't aware before you looked at this video, I'm so prayfully that I, I, I was placed in your life to make a difference. Like I said, nothing happens by coincidence. Sis, bro, nothing happens in life by coincidence. Um, I'm just really here, Alicia Entertainment. Um, I'm just really here, but let me just wrap everything up. Um, I'm just really here to inspire. You know what I'm saying? Um, money is fine, but I don't worship it. Um, like I said, um, I just want to make a difference. And I want to bring as many people as I can to heaven with me as well by doing the works of the lord so i appreciate you guys for just hanging in there i know it's been kind of slow with everything going on but we're gonna we're, you know we're slowly but shortly i'm gonna try to post a video once a week um i usually do it every two days but now that things are getting kind of crazy maybe this this is a great thing let's look at look Let's look flesh. Look, my flesh is about to get in the way. Let me look at it from another perspective. That's what you got to do. You got to look at things, look at pain differently. Look at pandemics differently. And not base you living your life on fear. So you have to look at it in a different light. Okay. So my grandmother did get pushed down the steps. But what was the good thing in that? There's always something good in, in anything that, that happens in life, whether it's good or bad. Nothing happens in life by coincidence. God already pre-planned it. <laughs> he already pre-planned it. <laughs> it's nothing for us to do but to just believe and trust and have faith in him. Instead of having confidence in your flesh in a negative light, have confidence in it in a good light.
knowing that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and knowing that God is your light and your salvation. Who shall you fear? Whom shall you fear? Listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, whom shall we fear when God is on our side? Exactly. <laughs> nobody but God. Um, Nobody and nothing but God. So in closing, I appreciate you guys. Um, I don't close like two times. So I keep talking. But in closing, I appreciate you guys for supporting me. I love you guys so much. And I pray that you guys are just taking it seriously. The elderly, everybody. You know, middle, younger, everybody. Just taking the proper precautions that needs to be taken to get through this. And we will get through this. We will get through this. <laughs> it's not a problem. So just be very mindful and just, just really think about everything that every topic that I'm thinking about and how it connects and how it piggybacks and how it all comes together. Like I said, anything that I'm reading and I'm, and I'm, Speaking to you guys is nothing but the truth and in the word of God and in the Holy Bible. It's not speaking. Some some examples are thrown in from experiences, but my resource overall for this for this platform is the Holy Bible. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And I will post the um I will post the three scriptures for this video along with it when I when I when I'm done. So just have a great day. Stay safe. And do what you got to do. Stay prayed up. <laughs> That's all you can do right now. All this free time. Just stay prayed up and really take this time to focus on your family. And just focus on you and your journey and what God is trying to do in your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Love you. Bye.